what's going on I hope you guys are doing well um, I'm doing well and I know I've been gone for a little bit but I'm back now I want to get you guys up to speed on why I haven't been posting any videos lately so the reason for that is because I've been going through a transition between jobs um, I am currently no longer working with Amazon to be more specific I was working with a freight partner just want to start off by saying that Amazon is not a bad company it's a very good company to drive with it's good if you're looking for a good simple truck driving job it's drop and hook it's not a lot of hard work and it pays very decent I just want to say quickly that Amazon is a great company to work with despite what others may tell you based on their experiences but a lot of people have come on YouTube and my YouTube channel specifically expressing those kinds of experiences and comments that they've been leaving um, which doesn't bother me at all if you're hoping it was gonna bother me it doesn't bother me if I let negative comments get to me it'll consume me and that's gonna be a bad experience for me and I'm gonna get very discouraged so to make things more clear Amazon did not fire me the freight partner that I was working with did not fire me I had left on my own terms and that is for a few good reasons that has to do with myself as a truck driver I have my own expectations and goals when it comes to what I'm doing with my work and how I'm gaining experience I felt that I have outgrown my pot which is not a bad thing because this is something very very important when it comes to personal growth I'm not saying dropping and hooking trailers is a bad thing I'm just saying that I have done it enough to where I feel like I'm ready for something new I'm ready for a new experience I'm ready to use my endorsements I do have all of my endorsements and I've had them on my license for almost a year now and I haven't used them so those um, those give me more opportunities um, I know there is more to trucking than just dropping and hooking trailers so I kind of did like a self evaluation over time and it wasn't just one day I woke up and I didn't want to work at Amazon anymore it was kind of building up on me and I'm feeling like hey I'm I'm ready to continue and grow my skills because I want to get more experience I want to be working you know in different aspects of the trucking industry still as a driver um, I love driving I especially uh, more specifically I love driving tractor trailers I feel like it's something that I have grown I have grown to be good at if I have influenced you to work at Amazon, I'm very happy and excited for you because it is a great company to be growing your skills, especially if you have no experience, if you have maybe a couple months experience, if you have a year experience, it's okay. But you do what's comfortable for you. For myself, I feel like I am ready to move on. So that's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos because obviously I'm not working at Amazon anymore but that doesn't mean that I'm not working at all one thing that I would like to make a note of and this goes for everybody no matter if you're a truck driver if you work in an office if you work in retail if you work on any job or anything that you do you need to realize and examine and evaluate your self-worth what are you worth what are your skills worth what is your knowledge worth what is your labor and experience worth with Amazon I feel like I wasn't earning the compensation I was doing the work for and that's not a bad thing because at the same time I feel like I'm getting experience right so I feel like it's not a waste of time to be doing something that maybe you're a little uncomfortable with just so you can get experience and use that as a step like a stepping stone to move forward with 
what you want to do and how you want to grow your skills and experience. So with that being said, um, I had to put my feelings aside and my emotions because if I let those get to me while trying to look for something else, um, I'm not going to make any action. So I kind of had to be a little bit cold making the decision. It has pushed me out of the boundaries and my comfort zone which I believe is the only way you can grow as an individual is stepping outside of your comfort zone. So once again, I just want to say that you should always know your self-worth. So there's a reason why the rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield. So I'm not going to talk about the past anymore. It's not that I'm forgetting about it, but I am excited to share with you guys that I am working another job, a trucking job, class A position, but the job description is a little bit different now. So I am working with another company now, it's called Saya, and it is an LTL company which means less than truckload. It means that the driver makes deliveries of freight to various companies, uh, consignees, and customers. So that's what I've been up to that's what I've been doing I'm not gonna go too deep on how I got into Saya I'm not a recruiter I wasn't a recruiter for Amazon I know you guys were may have seen me as a recruiter I'm not I'm just making videos I will say that there is a required five days training whether you have experience or not I ended up training for six days at Saya just because I feel like I wanted to make sure that once I was on my own, I would know how to do things efficiently and in a timely manner without messing things up. So I want to give a quick shout out to Francisco who was my mentor. He trained me for six days and he has given me the skills and confidence that I needed to do the job efficiently and I'm really grateful because he's an amazing person and he has shown me the ropes and now I have been working on my own. He has set me up for success and that's something that I really appreciate. So thank you Francisco. I have received a lot of feedback from you guys that my vlog style videos are something that you enjoy seeing. So. I'm going to do a lot more of those. I'm very excited for what's next. So um, I just want to say thank you so much for being supportive, um, especially while I haven't been making videos. I know a lot of you guys are still commenting and asking questions and I see that. It's not like I'm not on YouTube, but I, I do see that and I've been working on something else. So. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I really, really appreciate all of your support. I'm very grateful for it. And most importantly, um, I thank you for your patience. I know you guys have probably thought like, oh, she just left. She got fired from Amazon and she's not going to make videos anymore. You guys have given me so many words of encouragement, which I really do take to heart. We are truck drivers and we can share this with each other and help each other grow in our careers. So I'm really grateful for that. With that being said, I'm really, really excited for the road ahead. I know you guys are excited, of course and always. I am always open to any constructive criticism and I am always open to any tips, any ways that I can do better because I want to grow and be the best that I can be and I want all of you guys to do the same. I just want to make a quick note to you guys who might be a little bit confused on this. Um, I have recently posted a video which is how to couple and uncouple a semi tractor trailer and as you can see in the video um, it is I am still working with the Amazon tractor trailer and that's because I had recorded it a while back. Now, I didn't post it because right after I recorded it, I started, you know, going through the transition between jobs and I didn't have a lot of time to be 
um, working on that video and getting it posted up. So it's not like I was working in Amazon one day and then a couple days later I've already been working in another company. So I just, the only reason why I posted it now is because when I asked in another previous video what kind of videos you want to see, a lot of you were asking how I couple and uncouple tractor trailers. So I posted it because I feel like it's going to be very beneficial to everyone who wants to know how to couple and uncouple a tractor trailer. So that's that. I just wanted to clear that up. So yeah, with that being said, I am excited to show you guys what's to come on the road ahead. And I hope you guys will stick around and enjoy it. Like I said, I am really grateful that you guys are being patient with me. And that's all I have to say. So I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. 